Our next guest I just happen to be visiting with, then you caught me off guard simply because it's Ian Book, and the starting quarterback of the Notre Dame Fighting Irish football team, who had an unbelievable season last year, leading us with 12-0 regular season, and of course the game against the Clemson Tigers, which we don't even need to mention anymore, and we won't. Sounds good. Thanks, Ian. <laughs> Thanks for taking some time to join Thanks us. Thanks for having me. First thing I was curious about, and uh, you and I have had a chance to talk a lot over the last little bit of time, um, why Notre Dame? So, never thought I would leave the West Coast. Uh, grew up there and thought I was going to play in the Pac-12. It was always my dream. And um, when I had the opportunity to come out here and take a visit and uh, eventually get offered by Notre Dame, uh, it's just the best fit. You know, I really love the tradition, uh, really high level of academics, as well as you know, a great football program. So when you can get all that in one, it was, uh, it was an easy, easy pick for me. Yeah, also, I also read somewhere where you said, you know what, I wanted to be able to play, I wanted to be a starting, I didn't want play, I love this though about you. I didn't want to just play someplace, I wanted to be a starter at a so, Division I school. Yeah, it's always been my dream. Uh, I've been playing football since I was eight. Um, didn't want to just go to a university and be a backup. Wanted to come here and start and play. It's what I've always dreamed of doing. So, you know, I'm glad I got my shot. feel very fortunate. And you have to have lofty dreams. Yes, I mean, it's just like we want to win a national championship. We want you as alumni here at the university to win a national championship. Yes, no pressure. Just right. throwing it out there for you. None taken. Uh, yeah. Last year was an incredible year as a football team. What I was impressed with was your growth from the first start to the first game yes, sir. until the championship, the championship series came up. How do you feel like you grew during that period of time? Um, just with all the repetition, you start working with these guys, you start working on chemistry, and then um, you know you start knowing exactly where they're going to be at what time, recognizing defenses, and uh, you know I give a huge shout out and a lot of credit to Coach Reese for you know really getting me ready and helped me uh, a lot in the classroom on working on a lot of things. So just as you work on that day in and day out, it starts to you know become a little bit easier, and uh, that's what's going to take us to the championship again. Tell me your favorite moment as you look back through last year. Do you have a Do you have a moment that's one that you uh, sort of lay in bed? Well, all right, give me a couple. Yeah. Uh, I'll I take mean, a couple. My first start against Wake Forest, I'll always remember. That was obviously a great opportunity for me to be able to step in there and go in there and you know win the game. And um, and then my first home start against Stanford. Uh, those those two really stick out. But really, the whole entire season it, it flew by. It went by so fast, but really the whole entire year there's so many ups that I enjoyed and so many great times that I'll always remember. There's so many wonderful Notre Dame alumni out there listening and watching now. Um, not a lot of them had had the opportunity as you and I have to run out into that stadium and listen to them cheer. What's it like? Uh, it's really hard to explain. It's an amazing feeling just being able to run out there and see everybody. And, um, I mean I remember my first snap. I remember my first time running out there. It's so loud and it's what I dreamed of. So. Just to be able to do it, it's, it's really hard to explain, but it's, it's an experience I'll never forget. Is, do you feel like, because so many defensive guys have graduated, gone on, and quite a few of them to the NFL for us, um, do you feel like the pressure is a little bit on the offense to sort of pick up the slack a little bit as we transition in some younger, newer players on the defensive side? Yeah, I don't think we would you know, try to make a huge pressure on ourselves, but obviously we want to do what we can, you know, make the defensive guys' lives easier as much as possible. But... Um, you know, we know what we can do as an offense this year. We want to put up a lot of points. And then, uh, just like last year, the defense gave us a bunch of opportunities and always gave us the ball back. So, you know, we hope to help them out as much as we can. All right. So, football season, not too far away for us. The evaluation process always goes on. The blue and gold game was about a week or so ago. How did you things w think things went through the blue and gold game? I thought it went awesome. You know, just from the offensive standpoint, just being able to see a bunch of guys step up. You know, that's always a big game where a lot of guys get to step up. And um, and I just I think it's you know we have a lot of work to do. There's a lot of time left, but you know I was really happy with the way uh, we played, the way we ran the ball, and the way we threw the ball as well. Thank you. Thank you. I'll tell you, it's really great to see you. You look terrific. Thank you look you. like you're fit and ready to go. Appreciate that. Do you wish the season was going to start tomorrow? I do. Yes, especially <laughs> watching the draft and everything. Everyone's ready to go, but we got to wait. We got still got work to do. Thanks, Ian. Appreciate Thank you. It. Thank you Appreciate so much. It.